But what we want to do now is to try and show what it was like for the people in September 1878. So we're going to step back in time <clears throat> and clear your minds of all your 21st century thoughts, all of your knowledge of sound, and let's go back to September 1878. Welcome to this demonstration. I'm going to show you something today which you're going to find positively unbelievable. I want to tell you right up front, this is not magic. This is not ventriloquism. This is not wizardry. Although it has been said that Professor Thomas Edison, the inventor of the phonograph or speaking machine, is a wizard of Menlo Park. But this is really simply a miracle of modern 19th century science. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you said that Mr. Edison's very first words and the very first phonograph were a bit of practical poetry, as he called it. And for your benefit, I'm going to recreate Professor Edison's first recording. Hello, hello, hello. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Ha, ha, ha! <laughs> now, I urge you to please hold on to your seats for what you're about to experience has caused grown men to tremble, <laughs> has terrified women and children, for you are going to hear the actual sound from a machine. Yeah, this is a machine that talks. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, we have a little lamb that sleeps in white and snow. And everywhere that Harry went, the lamb was good to go. Ha, ha, ha. Sound no longer needs to disappear the moment that it has been uttered. Speech can be repeated for generations to come. This is truly a miracle of modern science. Now I'd like to invite Professor Feaster to come over <clears throat> and give us an example of a lecture into the speaking photograph. <laughs> and I have never done this before. <laughs> The sacredness of the family tie is the condition both of the physical soundness and the moral vigor of nations. The family is the miniature commonwealth upon whose integrity the safety of the larger commonwealth depends. It is the seed plot of all morality in the child's intercourse with its parents. The sentiment of reverence is instilled, the essence of all piety, all idealism. Also, the habit of obedience to rightful authority, which forms so invaluable a feature in the character of the loyal citizen. <coughs> now, <laughs> no proper, <laughs> no proper lecture <laughs> would be complete without a heckler. <laughs> So we shall introduce a heckler <laughs> to our presentation. I dry up. What are you giving us? <laughs> Go hire a hall. Get out. Woof, woof, woof. Go, yo, go, yo, yo, yo. Muck, 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 muck. Give us a rest. <laughs> I want to go home. Oh, Charlie. 
is also capable of playing instrumental music. <laughs> so to that end, we have invited the trumpeter to present the little music. Didn't your advertisement say cornet? Ah, that's right, it's cornet. <laughs> I brought a trumpet, which I predict will supersede the cornet in the Thank you very much. 